Behind me, at the corner of Main and Pryor, where the Georgia viaducts are now, there used to be a three-story brick building. That building housed the Porter's Club, a meeting place for black railway porters during the 1920s. Porters were some of the first blacks in Strathcona, and one of the reasons why the black community got started here. Some of the more notable porters from Strathcona were the four Collins brothers, who grew up on East Georgia a few blocks from here. The Collins brothers were like hundreds of other porters that worked on Canada's railways from the early 1900s to the 1960s. Though they were respected within their own communities, on the job they faced discrimination. Porters could be fired without notice or without cause. Much of their income came from tips, making them dependent on the whims of passengers. And they were refused promotions to supervisory positions, like conductor, even though they often did many of the conductor's duties. Efforts to unionize were squashed by the railway companies. That changed in 1942, when the US-based Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters expanded into Canada. The president of the Canadian branch of the Brotherhood was Frank Collins, the eldest of the four Collins brothers. Under Frank's leadership, the Brotherhood fought discrimination and unfair labor practices. In fact, my dad, who worked for one of the rail companies, benefited directly from his efforts. Over a 35-year career, he rose through the ranks to become a senior purchasing agent, a supervisory position with higher pay and shorter hours. By making gains in the workplace, the porters were able to, in turn, contribute to their communities and make better lives for their families. They also made better lives for the generations of families that followed them, including mine.